Hi, welcome to our kitchen. So we have a kitchen that's been slowly falling apart over the last five years. So it is time for the great kitchen remodel. So over the next month or two or three or six or whatever it takes, I'll be redoing the kitchen. And we'll probably get a video every now and then or maybe a whole bunch in a row about that. So our kitchen's been falling apart slowly over the last five years. I think, I think the first thing to go is the hot water faucet, which works, but once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. <laughs> the dishwasher that came with the house broke after a year or so, so we replaced it with the cheapest dishwasher we could find, knowing that we were going to redo the kitchen at some point. And that dishwasher is now broken. <laughs> So it's time to replace that. Um, the stove is kind of on its last legs. One of the, the burners is out. It kind of sparked and almost caught the place on fire when it went out, but, but it, it's fine now. The cupboards are working, but they're all kind of sticky and old and they were made with just kind of plywood. I think when they went in, they looked okay, but now they're, they're really starting to show their age. I wanted to talk about the design of the old kitchen, or the, the current kitchen, and then what, what we want to do in the new kitchen. So the, the current kitchen is actually laid out pretty well, and I think we're, we're basically going to copy the basic layout. I think if you look at the different parts, like, like the stove is kind of at the center of the divide between the dining room and the kitchen, so the it makes the cooking very social because it's sort of in that space between the two bases within the house. And then the sink is by the window. So as you're using the sink, you can look out the window at the garden, sort of. <laughs> and we, we want to redo the windows as well. The fridge is in a good spot because it's near the door to the kitchen, so it's sort of the closest bought to the outside so when we're bringing in groceries you show up right at the fridge. There's lots of counter space and there's lots of storage and it it, it functions actually really well. It's, it, it's sort of nice that down to the point where the doors and the drawers to the different cabinets and to the different appliances all function together. So really it's just going to be a matter of rebuilding what's existing because it's, it's laid out well it's just falling apart <laughs> and in fact over the last few years I had always figured that I would just remake the fronts to the doors and the drawers and keep the cabinets but as we've looked at more and more at what we're going to do in detail it's looking like it makes more sense to rebuild the cabinets as well like we want to get a bigger stove which would mean cutting some part of this cabinet then the, the sink in this house is really tiny for the size of the house. So I really want to get a bigger sink. And so a bigger sink means making a bigger cabinet for the sink to go in. So it's, it's like this part needs to change, this part needs to change, so we might as well just rebuild all the cabinets. And then the cabinets that are up above I really don't like because they're always kind of in the way and the doors are always open. So the, the thought is to just take all these down and just put up two simple shelves. It'll just be open. One part of the cabinets that may change, we do have this big expanse of countertop, like this big tongue that kind of sticks out into the kitchen. And it's nice, but it, it's just all this flat surface is always getting covered with clutter. Like right now it's picked up, but it, it never looks like this. It's always got stuff on it. What are you supposed to do with this? So the, the thought is to divide this up. Keep, keep the same footprint, basically, of the cabinets, but have a, the counter that the stove sits in, and then a higher strip behind the stove that'll kind of block the view of the stove a little bit from the dining room. It'll give a little bit more of a border between the two rooms, and it'll give a spot where we can sort of have the breakfast bar, which, which I sort of hate doing because it's what gets done everywhere, but it sort of made the most sense there. And then we have storage on the, on the back side, like we do now, but done in a nicer way. The way it is now, there's just, there's all these doors and drawers and they're always open and they, it just doesn't work. Like, like I was saying, the, the layout 
is pretty good in the kitchen, but the idea for where things are going to go, we've, we've kind of thought through that. And I'd like to have it where the stuff and the food that we use every day is sort of within arm's reach of the sort of the center of the kitchen. So this, the stove is here and all the things that you use with the stove every day are right next to the stove. And then the, the sink and the dishwasher are here and the things we use every day go from the dishwasher to the shelves back and forth or into the, in, into the cupboard. So everything that's sort of the daily use stuff is kind of right with arm's reach. And then as you get further out, like maybe here or the, the cabinets that are behind the camera, or the, the, the storage that's around the corner, that's sort of more once a week or sort of holidays or, or that kind of thing. So that we're not, you're, you're not digging through things that you use once a year to find that thing every, that you use every day. And I want it to sort of be a, 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 a smooth motion from the plates and the cups to the food to the table. We just want to make the, the process of of cooking and cleaning up sort of streamlined so that it can be about the art of making food and the pleasure of eating. Thanks for watching. <laughs>